Welcome to Blue Box PHP tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the um, add box to add a new record to or item to your database. And we're looking at uh, text and text box text area types. Okay, so first thing we'll do is load our demonstration project. And we'll just build the index page. So we can see we have uh, a series of staff records and if we select the add new record button we can see all the fields that we're expecting at the moment they're all classed as just text fields or we're going to change some of these okay so if we open our sales staff table and we go to our add box first one we're going to look at is uh, first name so if we select that we can see that it opens the item editor tab and here we can select what type of uh, input we're looking for for this one we'll actually just keep it as a text box and we can say what the input size is going to be this is the input size of the actual uh, text box itself so for the first time we'll reduce that to 20 and the uh, maximum input length and 36 I think it's okay for that the next field we're going to change from a text field is the last name. We're going to keep the last name as 40 characters, input size, and make it 40 as the maximum input length. Photos is actually going to be a file upload, so we won't look at that one at the moment. CV. Uh, CV is actually going to be a text area. So if we come down and select text box, that highlights the text box tab. And we can actually give the text box a height and a, a width here. So height we'll give it 10. And width we'll give it 50. So if we now refresh our index page. And select the add box. We can see that our first name and last name fields have been resized as we uh, set them to. And the CV is now uh, an actual text area that we can type content into. Okay, so we'll close that. What I'm going to do though is, uh, is I'm just going to bring photo down below the the CV box. So we cannot we can arrange the order that we want the inputs to go in just by selecting photo and drag and dropping it into a different order. We now rebuild the page. Look again. Okay, so we've got first name, last name, and CV. Actually, sales reference can only be a maximum of eight characters, so we'll change that at the moment. So selecting sales reference, which is actually uh, used as a primary key. Uh, input size, we'll change it to 10. And we'll say the maximum size is only 8. Rebuild it. OK, that's great. The other thing we can do with our text box, if we go back to the select our CV again, we can actually say to use a rich text editor. We use tiny mice rich text editor for uh, for this, rebuild our page. So we see we now have got a tiny mice uh, uh, input, well, well, a simplified version. But as we're only, as we're only just inputting text, we'll switch the rich text editor off. Uh, start date is another type of field. The photo is a file update field. Salary is going to be is our uh, as a text input. So we keep the text. Put the input size to 20. Maximum input size shouldn't be any more than 12. And um, from a validation, we're going to say it's going. It has to be a number. So from validation, we can validate. We can set set the validation for any text field to either number, email, URL, or a regex pattern that we're going. We can test against. But uh, for the salary, we're just going to make it a number. Rebuild the page. Look again. <coughs> okay, so if we just look back at our text editor, it's filled here the the item required field. This is automatically set if the database field not allowed a null value. So from the database, all these all these items are not allowed to be null values. So they're all required. 
which means that if we now look at the index page, rebuild the page and go to the add box, if we actually try to submit, you'll see we get a whole bunch of warning messages for each field saying this, this field is not is not complete and is mandatory. And uh, with salary, if we now try to, because we've set this to a numeric um, input only, if we try to input uh, alphanumeric, then we see we get an enter numeric value only. But if we try to enter, say, 20,000, then that's the error message is cleared and that's accepted. So, okay, for our sales ref as well. So you can see as we're completing the fields, these uh, the um, the error messages are now being removed. And the final film, uh, the final uh, uh, field that we're going to look at in this uh, in this tutorial is the email item. And uh, we're going to say input size of uh, eighty, maximum input length of one hundred and twenty-eight. And we're going to say that it has to be validated that it's an actual email address. So if we now rebuild and add, we can see our, in fact that's uh, a little bit too big. Back to our item editor, change that to 60, rebuild. So we can ask our email uh, field here. And if we try to enter normal text, <coughs> then it asks for a valid email address. And once a valid email address is entered, then the uh, error warning messages is, is removed. Okay, so that concludes our short uh, tutorial on the uh, text and text box uh, types for the ad box.